Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So in this week's Oracle Guidance, we are using the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. And we have three options here. Option one, two and three. Please go ahead, make your selection and you'll find the timestamp be below in the description box as well as the comment section. All right. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we asking, what is our Oracle guidance for this week? What is our Oracle guidance in this week ahead? What is our Oracle guidance as we go along? And I actually feel it's this card here. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of been poking out. Um, I'm shooting it at a very um, sh uh, close, close angle, uh, like an extreme close up. So you can't always see the cards as I shuffle them. And uh, but I have to do that right now because I am not at my usual premises, and so I'm still working on getting a, a proper setup for the channel and for these readings. So we have the card wait, and the caption reads, Don't rush into action right now, bide your time for better results. Now, that really, really, really ties in with the um, energy at the moment. And I've been asked by a couple of people on the channel to do an energy forecast, but um. I don't feel there's much to say aside from, you know, actually just wait and don't take action right now. And that, you know, the energies, you may be feeling a bit um, more erotic at this time. It could also be that uh, you are struggling uh, or things from the past are coming back to revisit you and you're struggling with those type of emotions. Um, aside from that, you, you know, the energy is that of having a hard time but coming out of it, so gradually coming out of it. So I'm mentioning that because I feel that this, this card here really ties into that. And I think that um, the message is pretty obvious, you know, um, don't be in a rush to do anything right now. And you might find that as you go along, that things crop up, um, there are obstacles that come into your path, which um, doesn't allow you to take a direct route to where you want to get to. So you might find actually that you're going along a certain path and everything looks good to go. And then you have all these obstacles in there and then you've got to wait or you've got to go around it. You've got to find another way or it's not really getting you to your destination as fast as you could have or in that straight line. And so this card is also talking about that. It's talking about not actually... Um, it's it's saying wait and the, the obvious uh, message is don't rush into any action right now. Bide your time for better results. And that's what it's saying. It's almost saying like it's okay for things to crop up right now that we're not planned for and for these unexpected things to come along because this is going to be something that you will be working with and it's it, you don't have to be in a rush and things are happening in the right time. It's happening in divine timing right now. And even though you may have planned for things to be different, you may have planned to have begun things uh, a couple of weeks ago or done something a few weeks ago already and you're still behind and you're still trying to get on top of things. And um, this card saying, well, that's OK. It's OK to do that, um, that you might be frustrated with the time at the moment. And it may be that um, that things are not actually going exactly as you wanted it to go. But when you are, when the time is right, when this moment is right, you're going to find that you're going to be very comfortable with your decision or the way things turn out. So you, you just need to just hang in there and, and focus on something else at the moment. And what I'm feeling here is that the focus needs to go inward. It's almost like um, there's the, the, the spirals on the stone here. Let me get that into focus for you. So the spirals um, on the stone here, they kind of speak to me. And I feel like I want to say that um, it might be churning inside of you. You might be worried. You might be actually uh, feeling really bogged down by these things. You might be feeling quite anxious. And this is to say that um, you can turn this uh, spiral that might be a negative spiral or a downward spiral into an upward spiral. You can flip it around by the way in which you look at things. And it's important here to take time out to do things for yourself, to take time out to nurture yourself, to respect yourself, to actually uh, not push yourself too hard. And there's also this other energy that's coming up here, which talks to me about the fact that maybe you've been pushing at something really hard and now it's time to just stop. 
the time to stop and do just finish up whatever you've been doing and then stop and wait because something's going to happen at the beginning of March which is going to change things for you and which is going to bring things in a different light for you. Now I think I actually mentioned that in the last energy forecast that I've done and um, this message just feels so as I've said already twice now it just feels so much in alignment with the energy right now and I think that a lot of people may be feeling this and a lot of people may be experiencing this right now. Um, I want to say that there's something this time is not about the physical action or the physical manifestation or what happens outside of you what happens in your career what happens in your work what happens in finances what happens in your home environment what happens with your mode of transport it's not happening outside of you and it's not happening with friends or family or loved ones this is a journey that's inward that actually asks you to pay attention to where you are at in your life and what you are able to to deal with right now and what is the level of your tolerance and you may be finding that your tolerance levels are are being tested right, right now so things that you might have been that you thought you you've mastered or that you you thought you wrapped your head around is actually proving to be a challenge once again and you you doubting yourself right now but this 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 is this message is saying well don't doubt yourself because um you have actually everything that you need and you've done this before and you might doubt yourself but you actually have everything that you at your disposal it's within you right now whatever you need to do to be able to shift this around and to make be able to make this work for you so this this card is also warning of a downward spiral as i mentioned but it's warning of a downward spiral that you've been down before so this is something that's familiar to you so it's saying don't go down that spiral because you are going to just be repeating things it's like you're just going down that route again and you're coming back up and then you're going down again and you're coming back up and it's like the spiral staircase that you are going along and you're actually not moving out of it and saying well give your chance uh, give yourself a chance to be at the top of the spiral and then open the 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 hatch door or the 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 other door and the door at the top of this the staircase and it's going to be very bright when you open and it might be overwhelming and you might want to run away and it might be difficult and you might think that you can't stand it or you might be blinded by it um energetically and and physically but it's saying to you just give it stay at that the end of that spiral staircase and then open that door and stay there for a moment take a moment to be overwhelmed and to overcome your fears and to center yourself ground yourself and go forth because it's almost like you're stuck in that place so in one way it's saying wait yes wait you don't need to proceed with outside things so if you need to proceed with a dissertation or with a project or with some policy or renovations or something like this don't go with it right now give yourself you know another week or about 10 days to be able to come into a different energy because when you come into a different energy you're going to be able to drive this in a so much in a so much more effective manner the other thing i'm hearing here is this as as i mentioned this is really about the inward journey and so this this kind of downward upward spiral that you've been flirting with for what feels like an eternity uh so you might have done this over and over again for some of you for some of you it might just be once or twice well they're saying it's time to break this pattern and that's where the action needs to be right so work within you so while you're waiting for things to take place around you or waiting for the right moment in which to act take the time to work within you because that's where you really need to be uh, where the action needs to be right now and where you really need to be working in order to drive things ahead and you're going to find that as soon as you are finished with that uh, with the spiral when you're finished with that and you've had the courage to actually go forth and and go beyond the experiences that you've been in so until now um, then you are actually going to be free you're going to be free and you're going to be able to just release yourself um the other thing i want to say is that this fear i know this is sounding like such a specific message right now but um this fear of going to the next level is actually there and um you might be thinking that you know 
by me giving you this message of saying, wait, that you're going to be uh, basically procrastinating as you perhaps have been already with regard to a particular matter that needs urgent attention. And, uh, and that's not good advice. But this card is saying, well, it's important for you to to once again to work within you and 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 you are going to be sabotaging yourself if you are always coming to the top and walking away because you're afraid to open that door because you're afraid of what's on the other side and this is something that feels like it's been a tendency or a trait for quite a long time so uh, I think that's a really really specific message and uh, I'm wondering if it resonates with you uh, I feel like I need to draw another card here for those of you who that message didn't really resonate with. So I'm going to go ahead and choose another card right now. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with this one here. Here we are. Card is yes. Okay. That's great. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So I want to say that, you know, this card is saying wait. And this one is saying don't. This one says don't rush, rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. And this one says, well, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. But I think that this card here is related to the message that I'm getting from the stone right now, which which is talking about actually, um, taking moment to to wait for as far as external things are concerned and moving inward make, taking that action inward so i think that here uh, one needs to understand where you need to take action okay and um i think um like if you've been asking a yes or no question uh, and um a question that requires a yes or no answer then this card here is basically saying yes but it's also saying wait before that so perhaps things are not going to go uh, as you've planned immediately um, perhaps there's a bit of a delay but the, it will go according to your plan but I also don't want you to take this yes as a complete simplistic yes so if you're wondering if a deal is going to go through or if you're going to pass an exam or some something like this it's almost saying well that that I'm getting the message that this yes is not for those things. It's not for a direct yes in terms of that. It's yes as far as your feeling is concerned. So yeah, actually it says here your intuition is correct. So it's it's a yes as far as your feelings are concerned. So what are you thinking about? What are you feeling? And yes, you're right about that. And I want to say that if it's around love and you've been getting like vibes from uh, a soul connection, like things have been activating or they've been calling you, have been sending you messages, telepathic or otherwise, then, um, and you've been wondering, you've been questioning yourself. Well, the answer here is yes, it is coming from them. And um, it is a time where you can actually take that and be assured of that, be confident as a result of that. This card, yes, is also referring to the wait. So wait and then take action is what I'm hearing once again. Um, so they reiterating this message for me and I feel uh, like I need to share that with you. So yes, just take a moment and, um, you know, think about it, get in touch with yourself, ground yourself and uh, feel where you've been guided to and then take your action accordingly to uh, get the results that are the best for you and for all of those concerned. So that is your message for those of you who've chosen this option here. That's a fairly long message and I hope that's resonated on some level and has been of help to you today. Thank you for coming by and I wish you a fabulous week ahead. So for those of you who've chosen that option here, the second option, we're asking what is our oracle guidance for this week? What is, what is it that we need to know for this week? What is our oracle guidance for this week? What do we know, need to know? at this moment in this week in this card here it's kind of watching it's coming out it says watch your thoughts i was going to say this card is watching me um and let me just get that into focus for you so so the card reads watch your thoughts it's important to think about what you desire not what you fear 
So one of the other energies of this week um, is actually something. So I talked about the energies of this week or this time rather in the uh, first reading. And I want to say, well, those messages don't really apply to you, but um, this message does. So one of the other energies of this week is that um, you may be overwhelmed or a bit afraid or a bit apprehensive about what might be going on, a way it looks like you're headed to. And what this card is saying to me is that you're the magician and you have absolute control over the manifestation in your, in your life and that this is a period where uh, manifesting things uh, is quite easy. It's not a stubborn energy. You can think something and you can create it. What is it that you actually want? Decide what it is that you want and you're going to be able to create it. And they are saying that these things that you're worried about, these things that you have concerns about, if you focus on that worry or the concerns or how things may go wrong or what may, might happen, what you're afraid of is going to come to pass. So please, during this time where manifestation energy is so strong, okay, be careful of what you think, watch your thoughts, as it says. It is important to only think about that which you desire and not what you fear, is the caption here in my, yes, I've added a few words. So what is it that you desire? You know, I think at this moment, um, stop this video or stop what you're doing and actually just sit down and listen to what it is that you truly desire. And when you have thoughts coming into your head that talk about what you fear, all these fears are going to come up and all these um, these irrational thoughts or perhaps very rational thoughts, very logical thoughts telling you how it's going to play out uh, because you know of the evidence that you have available at this moment. Well, take a moment and just say to yourself, I'm going to just give myself the permission to dream and Think about what I desire and allow that desire to grow inside of you. Allow that spark to burn into a raging fire and allow it to take over you and go forth only with that burning fire, that energy, that desire, that strong, lustful desire. And I'm not talking about um, as, um, sexual things necessarily here, but go forth with, with that um, lust for life, so to say. And, and allow that to embody all of you, every cell of your being. And you may meditate uh, to bring yourself into the state or you may simply visualize that and, and bring yourself into the state as often as you can to maintain that until it envelops you and you are no longer a bundle of worries or, or fears, but rather full of optimism and full of hope and knowing that what you deserve is yours and you will receive what you deserve. You will receive what you actually, what is due to you, really. So I feel that this card is, it's, it's really important right now, as I've said, especially in this next two weeks, to think very, um, very clearly about what it is that you want. Now, I'm also hearing that you spent the last week or week and a half thinking about what it is that you don't want or being afraid or being overwhelmed or being kind of um, drowned in in thoughts that were not as positive and it's time to get rid of that. Now you can't really go back and change things but you can begin right now to actually work with that energy and, and, and transform that and you have the power to do that. This is not something that's reliant on external factors. This is not something that's reliant on, you know, what others think or what others do. This is actually about you getting your way and you um, having your way and you having the power to have your way. And this card is is uh, kind of uh, a confirmation of the fact that you have the power to have your way. So go ahead and allow yourself that and take the time to discuss with yourself what it is that you desire and uh, how it is that you would like to proceed or what it is that you imagine yourself doing if you were um, to give yourself all of what you you desire all right so I hope that message has been helpful for you and um, I think that that's the most important thing right now so I feel like some of you might be asking well is that all or isn't there something else because I need to know something else and I've been wondering about something else and they're saying well it, it isn't actually nothing else is important right now because 
if you can master this, if you can actually just watch your thoughts and change your thoughts around it, it's going to change everything else. So the outcomes that you're wondering about is not actually uh, important because you are wondering about outcomes that are um, a result of everyone else's manifestation and, vis and visualization. And you're not recognizing the own, your own power and what you can do to change this. And yes, you may say that, well, the decisions are not in my hands and it's, you know, it, re it relies on that body um, or that, uh, that board or that, um, that, you know, those decision makers, whoever they may be. And this card is, is saying, well, no, you know, it doesn't. You can change this with your thoughts right now. And if you are wondering what I'm talking about and uh, you are, you know, quite confused right now, then I suggest that you um, look up some law of attraction um, videos or, or read up about that or um, go ahead and, and learn about visualization and manifestation. It shouldn't take you too long, you know. So you can go ahead and learn this in, in five minutes and and understand the power of your thoughts and how it's actually going to uh, impact you. I think I've even got a, a video out on this. Uh, I'm not sure if I've uploaded it yet, but if I have, I'll link it here. All right, so I thank you all for coming by and I wish you much luck in um, manifesting what it is that you desire, especially in this time because it feels like it's very volatile, very... Um, energy is quite feisty it's moving a lot and you have you can actually harness it and make it work for you all right so go ahead and do that and i wish you the best of luck in doing that and a fabulous week ahead so many blessings to you so for those of you who've chosen this option here be asking what is it that we need to know right now what is our oracle guidance for this week what is our oracle guidance for this week and i think this is the card here so it says, explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes. So I think this feels to me like a culmination of the other two cards. Um, so the messages I'm getting here is that this is a time of quite a lot of flux in your life and you actually can make quite a lot of decisions that could be of great value to you and could change your course in life, could change your path in life and things that you thought that you might have had to give up on or you haven't had the courage to do or you haven't had the confidence to actually take a hold of is actually something that you can reclaim at this moment. You can take it on again. You can start up all things again and you can move ahead and do what it is that you desire. And so it's saying explore your option it's a good it's a time to look at other possibilities but it feels to me like for some of you these possibilities are things that you have actually been busy with in the past and that you've given up or you have actually considered it even if you've not been active with it and you've always kept pushed it to the wayside so what is it that you know that your heart yearns for and that you know that you desire and that you know is yours but that you're afraid to take action with, perhaps because you've got lease on an apartment in some place, but you need to be closer to the sea, or perhaps because you uh, have promised your loved ones that you're going to be with them, but this requires that you move away or something to, like that. And that's just, those are just examples. So uh, that's not going to apply to every one of you. Um, it's a good time to make changes. And I said in the previous option that this is really a very volatile, um, kind of feisty, um, manifestation energy now it's not like that for everyone it can also go awry okay so but this card is saying to me that you guys whoever's chosen this option here this is this applies to you as well it's a good time to make changes because changes are actually going to come to bear and you are actually going to make some huge um waves or a lot of progress it can be a time to make a lot of progress and i feel that if you begin exploring your options now so this is like um, mid-feb um so i feel like if you begin exploring your options like around now uh or whenever you actually come to this reading then in about two or three months from now you will actually like in my in this case if you're watching this video now when i upload it it would be like around end of April, but for others of you who come at, to this reading at a later point, it would be at um, around the, um, I would say, at around the, yeah, around the third or to the fourth month. Well, this is something that 
you can actually see fruition you can actually see it coming to being so you might actually have this energy already it might be that you feel that there's great change coming your way that you you can you can perceive that and it's in there and um but you need to actually go out and you need to shake up your routine. <laughs> I know I've said that for the third or fourth week in a row, but you need to change your routine in order to be able to access that. Because if you don't, you're not going to be able to to ac- to explore these. If you're not going to explore these options, you're not going to be able to make the changes. And those are the changes that you actually desire, that you actually are hoping for, that you're wishing for. So you need to explore those options. And if you're in a study path, um, where you are planning to do something, planning to move to a different country or to a different state or embark on a research project of some sort, I want to say that uh, you need to explore your options around it. And it's something that you might have put on the wayside or something that's been stolen from you or something that you've been uh, afraid to look at or you feel that others have done this already and you can't do this. It's time to explore those options. Look at that again. Uh, and if it's been something that you, you know, where you need to move to a different place, well, there's something about that where you actually should explore other things that you need to study or do at that place. Not exactly what you've applied for, but something greater than that or something more um, extensive than what you've you've uh, put, um, what you've applied for already. So I want to say also that uh, there's another message here of simply being allowing yourself to swim freely, to swim freely or to to explore freely, to be able to take time off to enjoy, to be able to take time off to de-stress. If you're constantly in a state of stress, you're not going to be able to make the changes. You're not going to be able to even explore those options because you won't see those options. You'll be too so stressed that you won't be able to like you'll be blinded by your stress and this card is saying well release release and take a lot of time to do that it's very important for you right now to be able to maintain that work play balance and don't work more than you will play so you know make it a 50 50 thing and ensure that play is getting a a good amount of energy and time for you to actually de-stress and um unwind and and to be able to enjoy you need to start enjoying life a bit more this is like not enough enjoyment not enough love not enough bliss in your life and you need to actually reactivate and the way to do that is to actually take time off more often and do things you know go to an aquarium go to for a walk on the beach or go for a swim or go go and do something that's nice for you and it doesn't have to cost anything to do that it's simply a mindset that you need to be able to explore. So um, I hope that message has been helpful for you. I feel like there might be something else here. You know, in allowing yourself to play more, you're actually crowning yourself. You're actually giving yourself this, um, a certain, you're giving yourself a higher status. You according yourself a higher moral status because you are seeing your value and you're seeing your worth and you're understanding what it is that you need to give yourself and so this is actually this card is talking about crowning yourself giving yourself what it is that you desire what it is that you need and a little bit more okay so take that time out to give yourself that the luxuries in life and as i said this doesn't have to cost money it can be something that you can do without even spending a cent all right so i hope that this has been a helpful message to you for you this week and i'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead so for those of you who've come to this reading today and you're still at this point i wish you abundant blessings and um yeah blessings abound from kismet rising much love to you all